welcome back. This vlog is going to be such a special vlog because I'm moving. Yay! Here's the front. I'm not going to show you like all of it because privacy. have a big old life update i am moving out and i'm saying goodbye to this place which is such a big thing for me actually moving in with mitchell but at his house throughout the past year i have wanted to move out and buy a house like that is something obviously on my goal list it's something that i want to do with mitchell and it's something we are going to do but right now just isn't the time Guys, so that is it. All that's left to do is to hand back the keys, which is a very sad moment. But onwards and upwards. that I forgot to tell you we've actually reserved a plot it is moving day oh my goodness I I am honestly a little bit lost of words right now. I can't actually believe this day that me and Mitchell have been waiting for for so long is finally here. And I feel like personally for me as well, this day has just seemed like so out of reach for the longest time. I'm finally going to be a homeowner, guys. Like, I can't even tell you how much this means to me and how much of a big achievement as well. And dream that this has been in my life forever. And the day is finally here. I have a mortgage like i am an adult i just i can't believe it i feel so just excited overwhelmed a mix of emotions really but yeah finally after three weeks of living out of my suitcase being on the road being in the peaks being i mean more locally in an airbnb but yeah with all the chaos we're finally here my car is packed up got the kiddies in the back as well i decided to end up putting them in the back so i feel like they're just a little bit calmer when they can't see me um and yeah we're currently pulled outside the sales office waiting to get the keys we haven't got like an official completion yet because obviously we have to wait for all the legal things to go through but we're allowed to move in from 10 a.m and it is literally 10 a.m now so that is what we're doing um but yeah i'm really sorry as well i'm actually on my iphone because typically typically guys <laughs> Like my camera is in bits the screen anyone that has a g7x2 canon will know that you get problems with the screws like i still continue to buy the camera even though it's chaotic um but yeah that needs to go off repair have luckily got insurance i take insurance out on them all the time now um but yeah i've had to revert to my iphone today but i mean to be honest with you i feel like the quality is still really good so yeah let's excuse but yeah anyway i don't want to bore you with a long intro i just wanted to come on and say thank you for watching thank you for being here i feel like i wouldn't be here without you guys so as i was just saying i thought mitchell was going in to collect the keys like temporarily but what have we just had? We've got the keys, We've baby. had the phone call to say we've completed. Yeah, How early, exciting. That's really early. That was us, I think, being a bit organised oh, as well. Yeah, so and the solicitors have been really good. Yeah. We finally got the keys. Oh, my God, these are our keys. We've got keys. Imagine. <laughs> right, I'll How see do you, you feel? Right. I'm happy. I'll just let the chaos begin, innit? I know. I let the chaos begin. Right, let's go and move in. Yay! Oh, my God. I can't believe it, guys. Look at the bell on the front door. Is this even real? Like, I feel like I'm actually in a dream and someone's gonna wake me up and be like, you haven't actually got a house, you haven't actually completed. Oh, I feel emotional. I'm just waiting for Mitchell to come around and we're gonna unload the stuff. What a dream, what a dream. Okay, we've got the keys. Okay, open the door. Yeah, sure I do. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my god. Ah! Babe, this is our home. We did it. Okay, before we let the move in, Magnus commence, 
Um, I thought we'd just do an empty house tour because I know you've seen little bits. I have probably overshared too much as it is. Um, but yeah, now it's ours and we've got all the time in the world to actually show you the house properly. Thought we'd do an empty house tour. So let's begin. Okay, so this is our hallway, entryway. Um, we just took our shoes off because as you can probably already see, we've got extremely light carpets. Probably live to regret that, but hey, we oh, liked it. Oh. I know. Um, so when you first come in, I've obviously shown you a few Davidson's homes. So I feel like ours is the opposite way to the show house that we've always looked at. Yeah. Um, but the living room is to the left. So really nice size. We love the low windows. Obviously that was a big selling point to us. So that is the living room. And then we have this, which I think is going to be mine and Mitchell's study. Day. Just well, put like a studied. desk. Not that we stood here, <laughs> not that we're home office kind of people, but yeah. It's just a nice setup for it. Maybe even a little piano in there, yeah. who knows? Um, then, as you can see, hallway. Mitchell's going to probably do something for the cats here because I just think they're going to love that. Mm, they all little love. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? There's so much room under there. Um, then we have our downstairs toilet, which our plan for this is like we're going to do some panelling, aren't we? I love the flooring, don't you? Yeah. I think we're going to do some panelling in here and get a little under the sink cupboard thing mm -hmm. as well, like but a floating might, thing. Yeah, you might not need to in it. Yeah, no, I do. I want to hide that. I don't want them piped on show. I think it just yeah. looks so much smarter, doesn't it? Do yeah. like a little thing? So that is that. Um, then we also have a big storage cupboard, which honestly, that's just insane. That's like such a good amount of space, isn't it? Yeah. And then the main selling point of the home for us, which was the open hey, plan. Open oh, yeah kitchen living and oh, dining area oh my god we haven't even walked in this room yet oh my god sorry i feel like all you're gonna hear me say is oh my god but i'm just so excited um so yeah this is the living kitchen dining area so obviously we'll have a little living area set up here with a tv on the wall again not too sure what we're doing the walls are quite like a yellowy tinge, aren't they? I'm not sure on them. I asked what it, it's wigs on camera. I think they are probably showing up a little bit more yellow. Um, I asked what color it is and they said it was an almond white, which obviously I feel like it's borderline magnolia, which I'm not too sure on. Anyway, we also have this big space here, which I feel like we might do a big cabinet, bar area, coffee area. We'll yeah, see. Like and... Then we're going to have our dining table here, which I'm so excited for. Look at all the light that comes through here. How amazing. Um, and then, yeah, this is our garden, which I am so surprised with the size for a new build. Like, I think it's fairly decent. It's enough for us anyway, isn't it? You can think of, like, the grass area in our old house compared to this. It's really twice the size. Do you reckon? Oh, yeah. But then you did have a lot of yeah, decking and stuff. Yeah. So you, um, we have also got, like, a little bit around there where you can just put some bits and bobs where that stone is. So that's quite handy. Um, got our bins. Can't believe how small them black bins are now. I think Mitchell was saying as well, we might extend out the patio. Do you think? Well, there's no point touching it until we do Well, no, I mean, not yet. Not no, of course not. And then this is the kitchen, which is actually getting ripped out. Well, not ripped out, but the... Um, the courts, wearing courts in how long? So Monday he's coming to template and then fit it. Tuesday, Tuesday's going to template and then the following Tuesday's going to fit. So that is so exciting. And um, we just obviously just chose this just for the meantime. I mean, the sink is actually so nice, but after being in an Airbnb for a couple of weeks, for the last week and them having a white sink, I'm so glad we didn't have a white sink yeah. because as soon as you put your tea down, it, it's a nightmare. The guy the court's place said that, didn't they? Yeah. Um, yeah, this is our kitchen, which I absolutely just love. We're going to put some nice bar stools here. Oh my God, I need to show you this because I kept saying to Mitchell, oh my God, babe, like I don't think we have somewhere for our knife and forks. Look at this. So it opens like that. Is this just me being really excited about the small things in life? Such a but good idea. I just think that's so good. We was worried about that. Yeah, I just love that. Um, oh my God, look at our little hamper. English tea, fudge. How nice are those? I love them. Um, cheese straws. Oh my goodness. How delicious. <laughs> Prosecco. What a lovely basket as well. And to be honest with you, I'm really surprised about the fridge size because Danielle was saying that her fridge is small. Well, that's about twice. Well, I bet half, you've got quite a bit more in that than our own fridge. 100%. Yeah. The freezer's not that big, but we yeah, have got, got our fridge, fridge freezer that's that we're going to have. Size, yeah, we're going to have that in the. Um, are we having that garage? Babe, do the honours. Well, the dishwasher. Yeah. <laughs> ah! We've got 
a dishwasher. <laughs> Why are we so excited about a dishwasher? I feel like we should maybe put bins under here, you know, if we can. Mm, it's probably not a big enough space. I don't know. We could always put the bin in the utility, actually. Then we've got a utility room. Oh, my goodness. An actual place we can put the wash in and, like, shut the door on. Mm. How exciting is that? It's good, isn't it? It's good um, and I think eventually, again, we're going to box... Probably put some cupboards there and box all that in just yeah, to make we'll it look we'll neater. Box that, we'll box that in, but same again for that's not priority. No, nothing future. of this is priority. This is just future plans, babe. Yeah. But yeah, it would look nice to have all cupboards there. Just more space, like cupboard space, because to be fair, you don't get an awful lot of cupboard space in here, especially for all of our utensils. I mean, I know we're only a family of two, but we have got two cats. <laughs> right, anyway, let's crack on because we need to actually move all our stuff in. Let's go upstairs now. So this carpet, for anyone wondering, it's Sensation Ice and Sugar. I did actually get a few people ask me when I shown it last on so Instagram. Nice stuff, it? It's so nice on your feet. Let's go to the master bedroom first. So it's not a huge master bedroom, but it's nice. It's a nice size. I always say that I prefer a smaller master bedroom. Like, what do you do with a massive like master bedroom? Well, no, as long as you've got a bed and it's nice and a TV on the wall. Cozy. Yeah, so we're just going to have our bed. The room's taken up by a dressing room. And the ensuite. And the ensuite. It's just perfect. Yeah. So this is Mitchell's walk-in wardrobe. How exciting is this, babe? Oh, no, I can't wait to fill it. God, you're not going to know, know what to do with all the space. But a nice low window again. So yeah, like I say, bed, two bedside tables, nice TV on the wall. That's all we're having in there, isn't it? That's yeah, all we, we don't need it. Because like you say, you've got your little walk-in wardrobe. Yeah, I'm going to have my wardrobe in a room. So, right. Then we come on to the ensuite, which we are so excited for, aren't we? How nice does it look now? The floor's been changed, guys. I'm so glad. Like, I put my foot down and said it doesn't match. Um, and to be honest with you, Joe, if the tiles did match, I still think this looks better. Yeah, it's a contrast. I, to be fair, probably a blessing in disguise, isn't yeah. it, for us? Because um, it might have been too clinical, I think. Yeah. I feel like if you're going to go all tiles, we should have probably gone for like a, I don't mm. know, light beige and then it will match. So we're happy with the tiles and we're happy with the floor. Yeah, as you can see as well, like the tiles, they're not like pure white. They're like an off-white with like beige and grey yeah. flecks in. Um, and then around here, again, just so much space. Mm. Little window. Again, I think eventually we do kind of want to... Yeah, do but, something. You know, do something with this. Again, it's livable. Livable at the moment. And by the way, if you're wondering why we haven't got like actual tower rails and we've got radiators, they were very expensive as an yeah. add-on, weren't they? They were like 600 pound a tower rail. So again, that may be something we do further down the line, but it's not a priority at the moment. And um, then we have another bedroom. So again, we're not really sure what's what at the moment and like what. I feel like this needs to be a wardrobe room. Yeah. Just because. It's got the low window when, as well. Yeah, and when you're up. What, for your wardrobe room or filming room? For just, I can do both in here, to be fair. I don't need a filming room and a wardrobe room, I don't think. We'll see. Play it by ear. But do you know if I've got a nice wardrobe set up, I can do all my filming in here as well. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, what, room the other room, then? I don't know. <laughs> um, right, then we come on to the bathroom. Again, same as the ensuite. We want to keep it quite uniform throughout the house so it all just kind of matches and flows. Just love it. Like, oh, just think of a wooden bath rack there. All of our nice, like, mm. smellies, reed nice geezer. How beautiful is that going to look? Um, right, I'm conscious of time because my cats are actually in the car. <laughs> um, but yeah, again, I don't love the radiator situation, but probably change that later down the line. Also got a separate shower, which is nice, isn't it? Yeah. How good is that to have a separate shower? That's so much space like here as well. Place, Window. And again, we're going to do something with this and have a nice unit. Whether we just completely get rid of the sink or I don't know what will be yeah, cheaper and easiest. Again, we'll look at that one. Then the third bedroom. So it is a four bedroom house, by the way. Um, so this one's more of like a square size. Let me show you. But then it has like a bit of an alcove, doesn't it? The same again for you. That'd be good for your wardrobes too. But then the window's a little bit higher yeah. on that one. So I feel like, I don't know. Anyway, then we have a boiler. But nice storage space up here, so yeah, all our towels, towels are going to go towels. there. And then final bedroom, guys. Again, it's fairly decent size. They're all double bedrooms, actually. So I think this is going to be the spare bedroom, isn't it? Yeah, I think we're going to put just a king-size bed in here, or even a double. I don't know. What do you think? I think a king-size. I think, obviously, we've got a... We've got a king, a super king mattress, haven't we? I know. We're going to have to get... It's too big for that, yeah. And then we can put something there. And also, do you know what I love in this room? 
you've got a little storage um cupboard yeah so again it's nice storage isn't it because obviously that would be where the stairs is and in the darlington they have it as a void so it's just like don't get me wrong it is a lovely a feature nice piece, yeah. but i feel like with this house they've given you the wardrobe room and this yeah. so i feel like it's a bit more yeah, practical I guess that backs onto the dressing room yeah it? so that's why like with the darlington you wouldn't have all this here it'd be no. more open and looks luxurious but then yeah. you're losing space mm. anyway guys that is our full house tour empty house tour um i mean without further ado i feel like we need to get moving so i might just do this as one whole vlog just to initially start you with um and then yeah like I, yeah i think i'll keep this separate anyway guys that is our full empty house tour so excited to bring you on this journey of making this house a home we've got so many plans um but anyway without further ado i need to get the cats inside i'm gonna put them in this little bit um, little bedroom this little room because there's flooring in there as opposed um to carpets because obviously i don't want them wrecking up the carpets and yeah we need to start moving things in um so i'm gonna end the video here and just leave this as one and then next video will be full moving chaos thank you so much for watching and i shall see you all in my next video Bye bye